so um, so any uh, any experience that stands out for you mm. well look every single session has elements in it that I'm liking mm. enjoying yes with a with a person yes. everything's important and significant um, and there are also quite uh, amazing things that happen you know amazing big things because other things are small things and they're big for people yeah but I'm talking more um, huge like obvious things that you can see mm. one was a man who was I was working in the drug and alcohol field at the time okay. had a very big group 24 people all sorts of ages from 18, 18 19 up to 72 uh, pe period. people whose choice of drugs were either hard drugs heroin or that kind of thing and also people whose choice of drugs was alcohol mm. so you have your traditional alcoholics yes and traditional drug addicts and they're different yes they're yeah. very different scenes yes old guys mm. Uh, women and men in the group so varied in so many ways oh, completely different yes. and at the same time um, from all different stratas of life some are on the streets some are university professors oh, whole okay. yes. a whole range of artists famous artist was in the group yes and uh, one particular man had a, a, a limp, a yeah. leg that limped, and he said that he'd had it since he was 21. He was about 68 now. Mm -hmm. We'd done one drama. Mm. We had the sharing phase, people share, and he was really upset in the sharing phase because in the drama there was swearing. Mm. People were swearing in the drama because they were angry. So I, as the director, also swore because I mirror people back. So if they say uh, green leaf, mm. I say green leaf. Mm. So you can imagine the language I was using yes. as the director. Yes. He was so upset and so angry with me, he said, women shouldn't use that language. <laughs> and I said, oh, why not? He said, because women aren't meant to use that kind of language. It means they're not very nice women and so forth. And then the rest of the group was saying, oh, come on, and giving me a very hard time. Mm. And he said, please, my doctor told me I can't get anxious. You can't upset me. You can't disagree with me. You can't get angry with me. <laughs> None of you, my doctor said. <laughs> that I've got very bad nerves and I'm limping and anyway I said so you've got very bad nerves yes he said so I said okay come on up here we're going to have a drama and we're going to see your nerves oh wow what your nerves are doing so he comes up he's very interested to come up comes up out the front of the group and he chooses a couple of people to be his nerves Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what do your nerves do? He said, they just attack me. So what did I do? I said, okay, attack him, nerves. So these two guys attacked him, his legs, and grabbed hold of his legs, and he was wrestling with them and struggling with them, and, and that he was saying, go away, go away, and the nerves were going to... They've got people playing the role of the nerves. Yeah. Of course, we're going to be very respectful and stop. And I said... Don't, Don't stop. stop. <laughs> well, he just went into a furious rage, mm. and and there was this big like struggle and skirmish, and not can not, just not, it not, not the violent, mm. but like very tough, where he's trying to get them off. Yes. You know? yes. And then he started to cry. I said, "Okay, nerve, stop." So he just sobbed sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and the whole group of people all gathered around him really quietly without me saying anything mm -hmm. they just did it all by they themselves picked it up. Yeah. Warm, and we're just like this lovely warm bath around this person 
And then he looked up and he looked at everybody and he said, um, I've been so angry all my life. And then he told the story of what happened when he was 21, when he started the limp. So that was the session. But what was truly amazing was the limp had gone. The limp had gone. And the nurses in the nursing station, the doctors were all just totally amazed. How did that happen? It's miraculous. Miraculous. And it was a release. The yes. body must have been so tight yes. on various levels. And the mind, is, the whole thing had just constricted there. Constricted. He let go completely. Awesome. But yes. Awesome. It was truly awesome. And then he's his wife and children and I think some other family members came to visit him in the evening and they just reported that he was a different guy. Mm. His anger just had gone. Managed. So that was one of the one of the stories. That was very mm. early on, that was in 1982. Uh, There, there's many such stories, mm. you know, but that's one that was truly really remarkable. I wrote my thesis on that. You did? Yeah, on that group. They were a remarkable mm. group that day. One afternoon. One afternoon is all it was. Yes. yes. Yeah. And something so deeply significant that it's just that moment. Mm. And it releases and... Mm. Everything just becomes quiet. And, mm. and then you've got that congruence, the yes. thinking, the feeling, the actions, it's everything all aligned. Everything then, all yeah. aligned. It flows. Yeah. There's no yeah. blocks, no restrictions of any kind. Now that was in 1982, as I said, and these days, mm -hmm. you know, with all the new research coming out of neuroscience, mm -hmm. we start to understand how the synapses yes. start to act differently yes. and how yes. the brains recreating itself all the time you know True. the plasticity of the brain True. which gives us an idea of what might have been happening have way happened. back then yeah. yeah chemically or physiologically yeah. what happened yes but we just didn't have the research and we didn't have the technology to know about the brain even then in 1982 yeah.